Good evening. During my 30 years of mountaineering, I've been privileged to climb some of the most beautiful peaks in the world. And one of them is Karsten's Pyramid in Irinjara. I was there in 2006. And it's one of the peaks on the Seven Summits run. So she's incredibly popular. People travel the world to climb her in great numbers. But the weather is very fickle. And there's lots of people usually standing around uh, below the mountain trying to get journeys up. Incredibly frustrated that they've been sat there for days, weeks even, trying to get, at the time, a helicopter ride in. I was fortunate. When I arrived, I think I was there all of 40 minutes and the chopper flew. It's a little bit of a disconcerting journey because the two pilots fit oxygen masks because we're flying at 10,000 feet. And everybody who's thrown in the back with the rest of the gear gets to breathe the thin air straight away. But then again, I'm not having to fly. But what I did do was taking the wonderful views of the virgin rainforest that is extensive in this part of the world. The silhouette of Karstens is, is stunning, absolutely stunning. And sadly, at the base of her is a huge gold mine. But you land at base camp. And I was hoping to spend quite a few days there sorting out and climbing this stunning peak. The rock is razor sharp. You know, I've I'm, I'm been brought up in Derbyshire in England. And the rock here is quite polished now. It's been climbed so often. And though car stands has been climbed, the, the rock, it cuts you. It will physically cut you. It is that sharp. On summit day, we got lost in the dark. Uh, we went on to fix ropes that bit dodgy really but you clipped onto them for the sake of clipping onto them and lots of traversing scrambling some jumaring going up fixed lines uh, to get on the top of this stunning stunning peak and to have the promise of you know the entirety of Iranjara sat below you rainforests seas beauty but it snowed now when Carstens sailed round at New Guinea uh, years ago he came back to tales and said you know there's glaciers here there's snow and people thought he was absolutely berserk this is the tropics there's no such things as glaciers in the tropics well he was right there are glaciers on Iranjara and it does blizzard on the summit and it certainly blizzarded for us and the promise of these extensive views was completely blanked out and I could see all of 10 perhaps 20 feet but isn't life and love sometimes like that? We go with great promise and great ideas. And when we actually get there, it's not quite what we hoped. The journey can be hard, but worth it. And we can sometimes accomplish what we choose, but not accomplish it in the way we would like. Well, that is love and life and mountaineering. Cheers. And so here is my love letter to Carstens Pyramid. My dear Lady Carstens, what a magnificent face you have. Oh dear. I do hope you don't find that too patronising a statement. I travelled so far to see you and the last thing I wanted to do was make you angry. Though the journey to your slopes was a tedious one, it was well worth the effort. The final few minutes that I sailed through the skies allowed me a long look at your figure and what a silhouette you cast. When I landed, I hoped for a long stay so that we could become better acquainted. At first all seemed well, but I lost my way in the dark and wasted precious time fumbling around trying to find you. By the time the sun had risen, I was hours behind schedule, yet still determined to get close by your side. You made me work hard for my reward, but the best things in life demand great effort. I balanced above hair-raising falls, 
swung from ropes like Tarzan and put up a fair few choice words before we really got to know each other. Unfortunately, the final few yards between us became a disappointment. The views I had hoped we would share were bathed in cloud, and I'm sure you sneezed at one point because of the cold. Many years ago, people thought there was no ice in the tropics, but they were mistaken. I do hope you feel better soon. Good night.